it is it on? Hi. How y'all doing? Um, today is a, what the hell? <laughs> Take my vitamins. What the hell is that? Oh, Wednesday. Wednesday the 27th of June, 2017. Gregorian. I, uh, doing this review late. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to be as consistent with, um, well, I'm consistently inconsistent. That's just my persona. Uh, you know, depending on how I feel. What was that shit little Kim had? That's on depending on how I feel. When I figure out how to do this channel a little cuter, I may have that as my little theme shit. Depending on how I feel, may go on. Uh, de depending on how I feel, may go on. What well, little Kim song? That was my shit. Um, no matter what people, yeah, was that shit. Any of them, but yeah, you, I get on as an outlet. This channel is my outlet. Uh, not many subbies, but I'm grateful for the subbies I do have. Hey, y'all, share this thing. Click the bell, something, you know. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I know about melanin. So it could be just one. If you're melanin surplus, I, it's, it's like I have the world. Okay, we won't get into melanin right now. But, um, yeah, it's grateful for y'all, you guys. How y'all doing? I wanted to talk about the Jackie thing, Jackie Christie, um, and Basketball Wives in general, this last ep that aired on Monday, I wasn't going to do it because I really probably, I know I'm going to be consistent with power because I am addicted to that show. <laughs> so I may, uh, it's highly likely and probable I'll be consistent with reviews for uh, power. Y'all do share, uh, tweet the power people, you know, t just, just tweet, share, whatever the hell. Um, well, Brian, if you like it, you know, that'd be the insp inspiration. Pardon me, I'm, I didn't have coffee or anything yet. A little still fatiguing, groggy. I'm not a morning gal. Hell, it's 12 noon. I better shake it off. I didn't have, I didn't have, I had, a, I had a piece of apple. I didn't have coffee, tea. I think I just had apple and water. Papa, did you have breakfast? Papa. Papa. He got them headphones on. Did you have breakfast? You had nothing? Did you have water, tea, coffee, nothing? Are you going to cook something, Papa, so our energy can soar? Huh? S-O-A-R. You're not going to cook? Why are you not hungry? Well, but daddy, now I got to cook. Maybe I just have some cereal. N never mind, I digress. Listen, I was deeply disturbed by the, not well, not deeply, hell, I know it's reality TV, and I spell it reality, R-E-E-L, reality, okay, you know, but I, I'm addicted to a, a, a candy called Dedicated Sands for Roa, and I'm like, she ain't never lied, and I think the draw, I know what it is for me and my, uh, my friends and associates that talk about the show, I think the draw is well, melanin. Melanin is magnetic. We know that. But I think the draw, well, if you study melanin, Dr. Richard King and uh, Dr. Yaffa Bay and them, um, okay? Uh, I think the draw is you want to see where it's going. Yeah, I know each season is the same old catty fare and cat food meow mix. Meow, I know that. But in so called real life, you've had catty conflict. If you're a woman, Chances are you've had catty conflict. You've interfaced with some sort of catty uh, 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 entity. And I, I think when you see that cattiness on TV, you get your psych one-on-one -on -one cap on. You're like, well, okay, let's, let's deduce this. Let's dissect. Let's see, you know, how the shit play out. Um, it's something like that. As someone else described reality TV in a comment on Facebook years ago. It's like being at the carnival. And you're in the, uh, the fun house, the scary house, and you look at your image in a mirror, one of those those trick scary mirrors where you look all, you know, blobby and weird. But you know that's you. And um, I'm not saying you're caddy for looking at caddy TV. I'm just saying you've interfaced it. You interface with this bullshit in high school, college. Um, I know I have. In the workplace. You know, just senseless bullshit. You're like, what, 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 what the fuck is the real issue, bitch? What, it's, what, huh? So I think in trying to get through that maze of mire and messy muck, um, that should be a t-shirt, messy muck, or messy mire, 
hire the mire is what these producers are doing, okay? And if you ain't mirely, yes, I said the fuck shit. I said like I, I add a lee wherever I feel like it, okay? If you're not that way, kind of how Wendy add Asian, I'll add a lee where I deem fit. It's organic, it just spills out. Anyway, so kind of like that. They'll manufacture the stuff to keep us glued. But the psychologists on their team, you know, the think tanks, I'm not calling the producers uh, like into the Bilderberger and, and uh, tr uh, Trilateral Commission. I'm not saying they're that per se. But they have, I'm sure they have think tanks in these producer ciphers that talk about how can we keep the audience glued in. It's a huge distraction um, from, you know, real world uh, politics and what's going on. Um, not saying that you watch this shit and don't watch that new shit too. I'm just stating that distractions is the name of the game. Indy I read them told us in her song video. Uh, distractions, confusion is the name. Yeah, she surely did. She surely did. And I'm going to say like she said, ain't nothing I'm saying is law. It's my opinion. Okay, ain't nothing I'm saying is law. But this is an outlet. You know, you inlet by watching this shit, not outlet by using this hair channel to actually get it out. But is it garbage in, garbage out? No offense, you know, I'm not saying it's garbage, but, you know, just a figurative of speech. Relax, don't get your knickers in a knot. Uh, or click off the video. What the fuck? But anywho, now, I'm looking at Jackie. I'm looking at Jackie, and I'm looking at Evelyn in this last episode. And I'm like, Jackie, why? I... I Oh my heavens, I should do a basketball by retro uh, retro video. I just, I don't know. Jackie, if you are in your 50s, even if you're pushing 50, you're older than all the girls. Are you older than Shawnee? I think you are. You should be seen as a maternal figure from early on when it went to LA. And, you know, Shawnee and VH1 producers introduced all of us to you. I, I took to you. I really took to you because I'm like, wow, okay, she's a sister. She's brown skin. And you had mentioned that, something about when you were, you know, dating, uh, married to Doug Christie, how um, the media, certain entities would treat you because they couldn't believe he was married to this sister, brown skin sister, and he treated her like a queen. So I was drawn to you then. But then your, your persona started spilling out. Now, even then, I'm still trying to hold on because I'm like, well, maybe she's just doing on, doing this and putting on for the cameras to secure her spot next season. Um, you know how the game is played uh, and whatnot and shit. But as the seasons have passed, were we in the sixth season for L.A.? Is it the sixth season no more? No, because I think they didn't had two Miami or two or three Miami installments before it went to L.A., right? I don't know. I'm not on Wikipedia to see how the timeline exact and shit. Y'all can look it up if you want. But it's been a few Miamis and then they moved on to L.A. Then now they're conflating the whole shit and uh, just going to call it Basketball Wives, period, without the, you know, involving the state demographic and the geographical locations, whatever the fuck. But, but Jackie, I just... Uh, Gosh, we were rooting for you. Like Nini, the eldest in the cipher. I don't know, is Nini older than Sheree? I don't know. Look, shit gonna conflate as it conflate, okay? I'm inspired to do this because just of the way women interact with one another. What the fuck is what the fuck is really going on? Jesus. I don't know. I know you gotta get your paycheck and producers are requiring cat perpetual, constant cat fucking fighting. To secure a chat, and, and that's not necessary for views. Lala, they took probably took her off because it wasn't no cat fighting like they need. But Lala, the reality show, didn't have all this kind of sickness. You know what I'm saying? Cat disease, it didn't have the shit. And we watched. Um, you scripted, like this ain't scripted, but it's scripted for Sex in the City, Girlfriends. They had their drama, but it seemed like the drama had substance. Real friendship conflicts. This shit. You know, although anyone disrespecting someone's child. But here's the thing. And then that's a new debate. That's some new debate. Are kids off limits in war? Yes, the fuck they are off the fuck limits in war. If you're in war with weaponries and all that other shit, I guess some wars do do this overseas. Oh, gosh. But if you're of sane marbles, would you go out and war and harm children? Like physically. If you're in a physical altercation, you're a grown-ass person, would you go out there and harm a child? 
Well, somebody ain't got shit to do with it, much less a child. I, I mean, there's, there's some people who marble spin in reverse, dented and demented. But if you're of sane, cerebral ilk, no, you don't go harming children. No, the fuck, no, you wouldn't. So I, I, I'm, I, I don't understand this new debate that's forming. Kids are not. Yes, the fuck, they are off limits. They're still growing. If the bitches ate, I'm, oh, I said bitch, I didn't mean that well. Evelyn, that was just, that was just in a reflex. Not that I'm an Evelyn fan. You don't need, you know, I'm not a fan of either one of them. I think I'm a fan of, like I said, tuning into these shows for psych 101 purposes, case study. I have 95 credits in legal studies, but to get those credits, you know, before you get your law classes, we did take psychology and I was formerly nursing, then fine arts and then legal study. Never mind, y'all need the resume. But, you know, yeah, sociology, psychology, 101, 102, 103, um, anthropology. The, you, you take a battery of these classes and then you're from the hood, so that makes you observant anyway. I know it make me observant. So you just watch this stuff and also my own personal interfacing with uh with cattiness and nonsensical bullshit you like that's what's wrong with this bitch but any of it and then they they make the world so competitive what is the prize i'm i'm too leisurely a lady to compete for jack shit you hear me when i tell you i'm like well, what the fuck is the prize they're gonna pay the rent for but well, i guess these bitches are getting paychecks and that's the rent paid i um mm, 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 i'm too emotionally lazy I like to call it leisurely to get all riled up and but Evelyn with you it's hard to it's hard to sympathize or empathize with you for the way you treated women in the past and I know Iyala brought that up to you and your uh comeback to that was well that's not fair just because a woman may dress this way it doesn't give anyone the right to rape her and that's true she can have half a titty out and no man has the right because she's partially nude to, you know, throw his dick up in her. That's no, no, motherfucker. No, nigga, get some self-damn discipline, bitch. Fuck wrong with you. So you're right. You know, no matter what, no one has the right to break the law. Okay. Or just, 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 you know, come, come out of pocket and act the ass. So, you know what I'm saying? No pun intended. But with this, it's just hard to feel empathy or sympathy for you. Because of the way you've treated women in the past. Now, I, I don't know what you did off camera, but on camera, I do not recall you speaking ill of anyone's child. Uh, in the comments, y'all help me. Did she ever speak ill of anyone's ch child? I don't, I don't recall any episode where you spoke wayward about someone's offspring. I do not recall that, to your credit. But I, I don't know. You've overreacted for far less. Do you see what I'm saying? The, the, I forgot her name. The one you threw the bottle. Was it in Keisha too? I'm thinking about power. I don't know what that chick's name. Somebody you threw a bottle at because she called you loose. And just like um, Jackie, she was saying, but the internet calls you loose. They're saying this online. Why are you upset? Because I'm saying it. You know what I mean? And Jackie used that same excuse like I read online. I'm not saying it. I'm just uh, echoing what I read. You know what I'm saying to you? But um, yeah, uh, uh, Evelyn, just you jumping across tables because of what Jennifer said on the radio interview. And she didn't even bring up that uh, ex of yours. The radio interviewer brought him up. And she just responded. And I guess that was what she felt on her heart. She was being honest. But why not get mad at radio? You know what I mean? I guess you felt like y'all were close. Y'all were supposed to be, you know, girls and friends. Her response should have been different. She slit. She let honesty spill out. You know, some they said it was, comes out involuntarily, and shit is true. Well, it's true to the one that's saying it, at least. But um, yeah, you, you, Jennifer didn't talk about your child. The girl who said loose, I think her name was Keisha. No, Keisha's the light skin one in Tahiti. What was the chick name? That was trying to dance like Beyonce, and she was winded while she's singing. I, I don't know that chick name. Was it Keisha? Those are two Keishas. Girl, I don't fucking know. Listen, you threw about it one of them, and you went across the table for another one, and just, ugh. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. Evelyn, you've reacted worse for less. That's my point with you. And um, I don't know if it's because maybe it's a reflexive thing because Jackie is a little older than you, and you don't feel comfortable 
Well, now you probably do, but you don't feel comfortable getting real, you know, gully with someone that's older, which could be, which if that's true, that's to be lauded. We, you know, we're from an era, I'm from New York too, and we're from an era where I think all over the world, our errors respect your elders. I don't know what the hell is the credo today, the ethos, you know, but um, in a more spirituality I study, honoring your elders and ancestors help you with ascension. Okay, when your uh, soul exits the husk, if you're in balance and you have honored your elders, not elders and ancestors who aren't righteous, who, you know, was doing some foul shit, but, you know, just honoring your elders and go on and read Sonia Barry's book, Holographic Canvas, okay? It's very, very, it's not wise to disrespect your elders and ancestors. You'll regret it, okay? I ain't gonna get too spiritual, but... OK, so I don't know if that is the thing that made you prevented you from going across that table and choking Jackie out because it, it's desperate. And Jackie, it's desperate to it's like grappling at straws. Why are you bringing her daughter? And, you know, you're you're dragging innocence into insolence. OK, you're upset that she gave your daughter money. I don't get it. I'm still, I don't understand. But, you know, I was listening to the Funky Dineva video and he said that there's a way to give money on um, that website covertly, anonymously. I didn't know that. So, Evelyn, that is interesting. Unless you weren't aware either and you just, you know, went ahead and did it and blah, 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 boom, send and it's over with. I don't know. So maybe you weren't aware. I'm not taking it for you. I don't know. But if there is a way to give anonymously, why would you not give anonymously? To avoid all this madness, that is very interesting. I would hope someone would, one would ask you that in an interview, you know, in the near future, and see what your response is to that. Because um, if you did this purposely to get under Jackie's skin, I'm happy you gave it to her. It has got. I couldn't imagine the pressure of having a millionaire parent and you're struggling financially. I'm sure it happens. They interviewed. Um, uh, it's on YouTube. What's in Walter? Not Walter. What's his name? The Caucasoid older man. Paid in full. Okay, paid. Okay, investor. Buckley. Walt Buckley. No. I need Ginkgo, y'all. Shit. What? You know who I'm talking about. WB is his initials. Papa, what's that old Caucasoid rich man? Fiat rich? Walt Buckley. Even Jay-Z was in the picture with him. Uh... They think they're all part of the ill lot nodies on the ill lot. Not, not. Is it Walt Buckley? Is WB? I'm almost never mind. He's, he's the billionaire, I believe. Okay, paid in all sorts of full flavor. Okay, but they interviewed his granddaughter, who's Caucasian. Well, she had you know blonde dreads, and she was working like a nanny. I was like, why on earth are you work working? What's up? And she was saying or something about the trust and all that other shit. So my point is, it is possible to be uh, struggling financially and have a millionaire parent or grandparent is very possible as you can see in caucasoid races and um melanated here but i think it's something more deep and that's what would make this reality quote unquote more reality if we can get into why vh1 producers say jackie can you can you tell us why you and your daughter are estranged? that's some real reality tv for your motherfucking ass what does cat fight shit what the fuck? And I think Evelyn had probably been watching the episodes. Evelyn, I know you have, girl. Don't front like you. And I don't think she took a liking to Jackie. I just don't. I don't know why she is sad. Jackie and Leo, fire and fire. I guess it doesn't always blend. But um, it's the same element, you see. So I don't think she took a liking to her from afar. She just didn't like her. I mean, this is all theory and speculation and conjecture. Well, that's what the fuck reviewing the recap videos from this motherfucking channel would be. My goddamn take on the shit, okay? You don't like it, click the fuck off. But I'm telling you, I really believe from afar they watch each other's shows and episodes. Mm, I don't like her. It's some kind of undercurrent of something, you see? And to spite you. As a personal affront, I'm going to go on and send your, your daughter all the fiat she's seeking, you know. And he's a cute little chubby baby. Blessings be upon his spirit. I hope he's, you know, much better by now and healed. Um, but I want to know. You see how, Jackie talking to you. You see how uh, Monique, not Monique, the fire sign. Uh, um, this singer's a fire too, Sag. What? Angie Stone. You see how Angie Stone 
explain, um, she elucidated on how and what happened between her and her daughter. And, um, and we got it. I know I did. I got into, I really got into Angie. I began on the Angie Stone binge, looking at her interviews after that. I think that level of honesty can help other families who may be estranged from their offspring. You know what I mean? To carry a baby for nine months and raise her, um, Especially in the way that she says you raised her, Jackie. Oh gosh, I don't know, Jackie. I, I wow, isn't she? Isn't Takari a Leo too? This is very interesting. Uh, it's reported that Takari is going to write her memoir. I'm going to be there buying it. I couldn't get to Amazon quick enough to buy it. I wish she going to publish it and get it done because this stuff. Um, me and my mom are close. We never had any type. That's what I'm getting to, Jackie. Did y'all have a physical altercation? I can't think of any other reason to cut my door. I, people are saying you're color struck and she's dark skin. I would hope that is not the superficial reason that you've carved your daughter out of your life like that. That is psychotic and sick, Jackie. Let's please hope that's not the reason. But that's what they're saying online. Okay. You want to talk about what you done read online. Okay. Or heard on video. Whatever the fuck. I'm thinking did her daughter ever lay real time hands on her? That's the only thing. I'm not saying that's a perfect excuse, but nothing else makes sense why you would totally disown her other than she may have beat Did she beat your ass? I don't know. I'm not saying Angie Stone, because they went on the um, talk shows, JD, uh, JD, TD Jakes, or whatever. His name. No disrespect to the Reverend. Um, they went on different talk shows to talk about it. You know what I mean? Um, but I, 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 I have children, and I, none of them have raised their hand to me. I was ready to disown them when they talk greasy. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, what, what, what the fuck did you say? You know, throwing pots and frying pans. Nigga, you can get the fuck out, bitch. Okay, you don't pay no bills in this motherfucker. Who the fuck you talking to like that? So just lip service. Get the fuck out. Pack your shit and get out, bitch. I'll throw these motherfuckers out the window, okay? So the lip shit. I, no, fuck that. Get out. Who the fuck are you talking to? You know, even if you pay bills, I'm still your mother, bitch. You, you, you see what I'm saying? So I couldn't even fathom. It's unconscionable. It's incomprehensive that your offspring would lay hands, would even raise their hand to you, let alone lay them. Did y'all read Taraji P. Henson's memoir when she said her son was rearing up towards her? And she told that motherfucker, go ahead. You ain't about that life, but go the fuck ahead because it'll give me an excuse to take you the fuck out. Okay, Taraji in my age, we from an era where your parents would tell you, I brought you here and I will take you the fuck up out of here. If you feeling froggy, leap, bitch, leap. Leap your froggy fucking ass into your froggy grave, bitch. Parents just let it be fucking. No, the Angie Stone is from my era. Don't you see what she done did? Her daughter with the motherfucking, um, what they call it, the fire iron stick or some shit? That's what was reported. I said, mm-hmm. Cause you you don't you honor thy mother and thy father. What the fuck? So Jackie, I'm telling you, keep it one thousand with the viewers. Shout out to Squeaky. Hey Squeaky girl, keep it one thousand. Cause that's what she said. You know what I'm saying? You give credit to where credit do you hear shit. Uh, shout out to uh, Cemented. You know all the ones I've been watching for years. Um, and the lingo may spill out. I just I just I just love them all. Okay, all y'all. How y'all doing, reviewers? But listen to me. I'm telling you, oh, it's mutable. Okay, I'm telling you, Jackie, do a real episode where you tell us what happened. Don't let the world go on believing you are color struck. Please, Jackie. She's going to give us her side of the story in that book. Don't you want to give us your side of the story? Why did you disown your daughter? When y'all came back from Hawaii, I forgot what season it was. I don't give a shit. Ain't the point. When y'all came back from Hawaii, you was talking to, to Doug, and you was on and on and on. Was it at the table when you, he said to you, you want them to be flogged? Oh, my heavens, you want to flog them? Yeah. I like how he supports you. I'm not going to quote Cadillac Kimberly. Well, I guess I'll quote it. Whether y'all have that unspoken spoken some shit. <laughs> yeah, bitch. But any of it, I like, I like, in all your madness, he supports you. What the fuck? Because he seems calm and reserved and, and laid back. Doug, how the fuck do you take Jackie? Unless she's not like this when the cameras aren't rolling. I don't, I don't know how you do. Well, they said opposites attract. It must be in temperament because I'm telling you. Um, Doug, I don't know how you do it. It'd be overkill. It's too much. 
Again, unless she just dials this shit up for the camera. Well, that's Leo. Leo is the performer. Anywho, the showman. That Andrew Caldwell is a fucking Leo. It's the sun. Do you not notice the sun when it's shining bright on your ass? You better respect it or it burn you, okay? But I'm telling you, back to my point at hand. Jackie, please let us know why you disowned her. It cannot be because of her brown skin. Knowing what melanin is, Doug knows what melanin is. You have plenty of it. A surplus of melanin is the, melanin is a miracle molecule. Y'all go on and Google that shit, okay? They are selling the mel melanin on the uh, black market for more grams than gold. Uh, Jackie, educate yourself. That's the reason educate yourself on the science of melanin. Look up Henrietta Lacks. We're programmed to dislike dog skin. It's, it's a slave mentality. Post-traumatic slave syndrome, Dr. Joy DeGruel's work. Look up all this shit, okay, please? If that is the reason you disowned it, well, why you fucked a dark skin daddy? Uh, oh, she told us he was a drug that he was getting that guap. Mm. To me, dog dick is the best. Mm. We want um, the soul pole, okay? This is... Memories. Oh, gosh, I'm, it's graphic. I'm not being graphic. But yeah, just mm, smooth black skin with a smile. Salt new. That bitch new. Okay. Black and white magic. She know her light ass and her dog husband. Okay. No disrespect, salt. But I know what it is. I study. I'm a researcher. It's what the hell I do. Now, back to you, Jackie. Why have you disowned your daughter? Let us know. Because this is deeper than you want to just come for Evelyn. And you said it. A lot of people didn't catch this shit when you said you want to buy your way into my family. No, the fuck she don't. And that reminds me of the Gabrielle Union quote somebody had told me about. When she said, someone said, oh, you a sellout. She said, I didn't sell out. I bought in. I've been studying what the fuck she meant by that shit ever since. Not that is a good thing. But I've been studying what the fuck she talking about. So when you said that shit, I bounced back to Gabrielle's quote. To me. Evelyn want to buy in. Then I thought about the Marshawn Lynch when he was getting donations, it was finding him because he didn't want to talk to the media, the, the uh, meads, devil asses, harassing him. And um, he was getting donations for fans like, we'll pay for the fine. How dare they? That's fucked up. And I'm reading his Wikipedia page and somehow the hidden powers that shouldn't be, uh, shout out to ZKH, I got the shouldn't be from him. Uh, I don't, I, I unsub from his channel. You know, I, just, I don't like the way he talk about the Panthers and uh, Tupac and them. Uh, uh, control puppets, then why the fuck did they kill him if they were controlled? Zach, shut the fuck up. How in the fuck can... And then he goes, controlled opposition. And then he next breath he goes, but they defeated them. How the fuck did they defeat them if they was controlling them? How do you can defeat what you control? You can destroy what you've created. I think when melanated people organize and do something very powerful... The Caucasoid marbles cannot fathom that you did that on your own from the way they've been programmed to look at melanated people. So, no, no, no. They couldn't have created this on their own. There's Caucasoid to think that melanated people didn't create hip-hop. That's how desperate That's how desperate the envy can get because they've been programmed that you're nothing. So when you create something out of nothing, that's pure magic. That that's just rocks their psychological socks. It's too, it's too much to, for them to fathom. So, no, no, no. No, no, no. You, you couldn't have created it in the Bronx and the slums of the Bronx. Oh, no, no, no. They, they, they can't fathom that. So they say, some hidden entity that has no natural rhythm, can't dance, and really can't rhyme, especially back then. Not with no real live flavor. Some hidden non-rhythmic entity must have created this. <laughs> I digress. Oh, I digress. I just like to give credit to my um my saying isms where credit is due. So the powers that should be was always popular. No 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 should was never no ooh heaven ooh, ooh cancel that shit. That should wasn't in there at all. The powers that be boom that was popular. But when he started saying the powers that shouldn't be I was like oh shit that's a that's a cute little spin on this. All right, you know. I get bored with words. Should have switched up like that. So when you hear new shit, for me, when I hear new word and verbiage to some well-worn shit tagline, I'd be like, oh, that is so cute. I, I think I'm going to start using that too. And that's what the fuck I do. But I give credit to where it came from, where it derived, if I remember. I told you I'm age and I'm in my 40s. And my ginkgo. Anyway, Jackie, uh, b b b never mind all that. Back to Basketball Wives, this last episode. 
I just seen Monday and I just, Jackie, you are mad. It's like a game that you may not be conscious of. You may have told your daughter, um, after you do this, this is it. I don't know if she slapped you, punched you, spit. I don't know what the fuck she did, but I, this is the, this is the image I see. Um, when I'm into spirituality, you know, I do shit. Okay. We all fuck do some shit. That's what we do. That's what the fuck we do. Okay. Survive. You may be conscious of it or not. I don't, whatever the fuck. But Jackie, this is what I see. She may have did something to you that was completely unexpected, completely unfucking fathomable to you. I'm your mother. How dare you? That's it. You're out of my life. I disown you. You're on your own, kiddo. You're on your own. You get out. Don't let the doorknob hit you with a good Lord split you. It may have been something dramatic. Leo's is dramatic. It must have been something very dramatic. And you've excommunicated her. And she's excommunicated you. And then that's how it went down. You had no idea. Probably when this happened, basketball wives, this entity, franchise, it was not even a thought. It never even came in, it, to your senses that you would be a public figure in this respect. Now, you probably were known somewhat um, as being Doug Christie's wife, but the public knowing you and a nationally uh, televised uh, syndicated TV show. This, this is not a thought when you had this fight with her. And um, and that's what happens when you become a public figure. Chances are your uh, family gets into the public eye, too, especially your immediate family, you know, uh, offspring and husband, spouse. It, it's just it's inevitable. Uh, it's a matter of time before the public know those people, too. Uh, it, it's just the nature of the beast, if you will. And in so knowing now that you are a public figure. She has access. She has access to your contacts, especially with the Internet. You probably had this big fight before the Internet as we know it. Yeah, you didn't see this coming, Jackie. So in your mind, like, how dare you use my contacts? How dare you use my access? How dare you go public with this? And you know I'm a public figure. How dare you shame me in the public life? Even though you're... Your, your coon, catty coon uh, chronicles should be enough shame in the public eye. But in your mind, you're just doing what reality TV, R-E-E-L-ality, okay? What reality TV calls for. So you're not shamed by your actions on air. But her doing this, it just got real. R-E-A-L. It just got real. I have a millionaire mom, but I, I, I need help financially. That's hugely embarrassing to Leo. The son... Uh, rules Leo is dignity is dignified is royal how dare you shame me in public and then to add insult to injury your co-worker castmate Evelyn goes and pays the shit so it's like it's, it's extremely embarrassing to your ego but you can just be honest to heal it not for us the public for yourself to heal it to heal it instead of arguing with Evelyn Tell us why you don't deal with your daughter. You don't owe it to the public. You owe it to yourself to relieve you. Writing is very therapeutic. Make us pay for your pain, as uh, uh, FD told uh, Lisa Wu and shit. Write a memoir and be honest, Jackie. Shit. And let us know. I would. She write one. You should write one, too. Let us know. Yeah, she beat my ass. She spat my face. So fuck that. I don't fuck with her. Until she apologized because there's another thing they quoted you as saying. I would gladly give it to her if she asked. I would give it. I would give her the fiat if she asked. That told me, but how she got to ask? Does she have to apologize for the past? And she's a Leo too, from what you told us. She ain't apologizing if you've been treating her the way a Chantel told Laura. Laura, that was some foul shit interviewing her, but it still was eye opening. But yeah, if what Chantel told Laura is fucking real, uh, Shanti, what do you call her? Then we can see what, I don't condone disrespecting your mom, no, but we can see what would make Takari just tick and boom, you know what I mean? But I, I believe these books are necessary. I look forward to these memoirs. Kenya Moore, you hear this? I look forward to your memoir. Let us know what makes you like this. It's, this is, you know, people are entertained, yes, but I'm, I told you. I have 95 credits in law, legal studies. I need to know the psychology behind the behavior. What the fuck? 
Yeah, ladies, please write the memoirs. You were wrong for what you said to Evelyn. You were very wrong. Evelyn, my heart, when, when you was crying outside, those tears were genuine and real. You love your daughter. I get it. I'm a parent, a grandparent. I totally get it. Um, and it's unexpected. What, what, what kind of classy person thinks about somebody's job? I don't get, I don't get out of context comments. It's desperate. Again, I took psychology, read the art of war. You're desperate. I don't get like one reunion. I gotta do a row of retro shit video. One reunion. Phaedra said to Cynthia about she talked about her JJ. Oh, I'm sitting on Aquafina. You sitting on Captain Crunch. And Phaedra, what the fuck that got to do with the fucking uh, problem? Well, how's that germane to the problem at hand? And how in the world does somebody private parts come to mind when you're bickering and bantering over basic catty bullshit? Why is her pussy on your mind, Phaedra? I just, again, my marbles spin differently. I'm not thinking about your fucking private parts or your fucking offspring that came through the pro. I'm not thinking about nothing other than what you're charging me with. That I guess that's the lawyer in me. Well, I, I got 95 credits. Uh, any lawyers listening, uh, help me get my degree. I exhausted the financial aid and shit and some other bullshit. If you're a lawyer... And you got you can do your pro bono for the year. Can you help me get my degree? And you know, my school in New York, I tell you all the shit. Email me, okay? Email me at wisdomwand at gmail.com. Wisdomwand at gmail.com. In the subject line, let me know you're a lawyer. Speak that shit that only lawyers speak, unless I ain't opening it. I ain't opening it, okay? But um, yeah, it's part of my bucket list to get the degree, give it to my mama. That you know, that, that shit means something to her. It means something to me too, but I don't have interest in being a lawyer. I want it to be. Get down with Barry Sheck. The Innocence Project, but I don't know. that dream is dashed. I'm not as well as shit. But I'm only 25 credits shy away from it. You see, I digress. Back to Basketball Wives. Jackie, you're embarrassed. You are. And you're taking it out on um, Evelyn. You can't tell her how to spend her money. But the psychology behind why she spent it, that's what you're mad at. Tell the world. Yeah, it's, it's nice that she helped... Um, my daughter. And your thing is she could have helped other people. But like she said, you can't tell her how. You can't earmark her fiat. You just can't do that, Jackie. But I would speak to her. What's the psychology behind helping my daughter? Bitch, you, you really give that much a fuck about. But she could always say, I care about the baby. Any sane mother cares about babies. Now, you know, that was a severe burn. <laughs> and whatnot. Um, Gotta write your memoirs. And and Evelyn, you wrote some fictionalized book. You should write your memoir too. Because we want to know why you got your mother still. Why's your mother still in the projects? People like, oh, the mom is comfortable. It got to be some psychology behind that too. I, I just hope y'all all write an honest memoir at one point. Y'all um, basketball wives. Tammy too. Tammy, your memoir would be good if y'all honest. Not no fluff shit. Because women are always interested in how do these NBA players choose their wives? Like, how did you meet him? And da da da. da. I, yeah, y'all memoirs don't write it for the fiat. Well, it's going to cost money, but don't be like, oh, I'm going to get good and paid. No, write it as a release. I took a lot of writing classes. Writing is very therapeutic. It's like orgasm, pissing and shit. It's, you're releasing, you're purging the shit from your, your, your cells. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Y'all yeah, go on and write your memoirs and let us know what the fuck is what, okay? Um, even with Shawnee, and I don't find her to be interesting at all, but she became interesting when Shaq allegedly fucked Laura. You know what I mean? That So that part of the memoir would be not juicy, but good because it's her spirit, it's her hurt, it's her part and her soul. Like, I don't believe this motherfucker laid pipe elsewhere. With a bitch I know, nigga, all the groupies in the world that I don't know, you gonna lay pipe and some familiar walls, you old fucking big doofy fuck you, get out bitch, you know, something like that, I don't know if that's what you said, shorty, but uh, Sag and Pisces is a, is a square, it's 90 degrees, I don't, do you do your natal charts, hell I do, well you probably don't want this shit done now, but you know, y'all can make sure y'all get your natal charts, um, you know, composition charts and symmetry, get that shit done, and I'll do it, wisdom on that gmail, in the subject line, put some shit that make me open it. If you look like some fuck fuck, if it's some fuck shit, I ain't open it, okay? Spammy old spammy sons of sick bitches. Anyway, uh, that's it, basketball wives. I feel both of y'all pain with this. I do. And I know a lot of people like, oh, you neutral, you neutral. Don't ride it. The neutral's in the middle way. Libra's in the middle way, okay? I feel both of them. 
Mm, although the Capricorn is strong in his Saturn, and shit, but I feel both of them because it, it's it's I don't know. Jackie's embarrassed. Stay out of my fucking family business, bitch. And Evelyn is hurt. You disrespected me in front of my child. And you disrespect my child. I don't care if you quote the internet. They're both women are coming from places of pain. But when we get down to the root of why she gave uh, the money publicly. Oh, I wish I could interview them. Anybody who us, uh, John Sally, tweet this to John Sally if he's doing a reunion. Ask Evelyn. That's what I, oh, John Sally, please, Ma, please, y'all. Okay, Melanite, I know it's only 40 of y'all, but y'all my hearts for subbing, okay? Melanite, tweet this to John Sally, please. Oh, watch they don't change the host. Just, just put in the, the caption, John Sally, if, y'all gonna, if you're going to do the fucking reunion, please listen to this shit. Okay, John Sally, please ask Evelyn, why didn't you give the money anonymously? Oh, I paid cash money to hear that answer. John Sally, go. Hell, invite me to the reunion. I'll ask from the audience. Is the mic going around the audience? Invite me. Wisdomwand at Gmail. Please, if John don't want to ask the question. And then John asked Jackie this. What is really upsetting you about her giving that money? Don't say she's trying to buy into your family. You know she don't be no damn sister wife. Honestly, what's under your skin? Because I think, like I said, it's a game. She wanted the daughter to have no way out. For, as far as finances, you would have to come to me and Doug for money. I don't want you using my my uh, my prongs, my co-workers. I don't want you using my world in any way to benefit from, okay? You come directly to me, not my contacts or whoever I have, whomever I have access to. I think that's what it is. It's like the daughter circumvented. Although the daughter is saying this to the whole public, but that's still a contact of Jackie. If we didn't know Jackie, we wouldn't know her daughter. This is Jackie mathematical mindset. I made you literally in biological, I've made you. The soul chooses the womb. So Takari, you chose Jackie to learn a lesson. Look it up. The soul chooses the womb. You chose her to experience this incarnation for this lifetime. Okay. So Y'all got past life too. Get a past life reading. Um, I do astrology readings and things of that nature. Um, but people who know the Akashic records, uh, I, I don't want to recommend right now. I just don't. Not that they ain't paying me to recommend, but just just do your due diligence and get like a past. Unless y'all got this shit already, but past life reading could tell you how you knew your mom in a past life. This is a carryover. You can feel it. Okay, y'all gonna get this. You can see in the in your natal chart too. Takari, what's in your fourth house? What's in your tenth house? Do you see what I'm saying? Look at the fifth house as well. Uh, I gotta see your natal chart. But um, yeah, John Sally, please ask Jackie what's really bothering her about that money sent to her daughter from Evelyn, and say, Evelyn, why didn't you send it anonymously? If it came from your heart, from your heart for the baby. Why not send it anonymously? Oh, the reunion going to be lit if John. Now, I don't know if the so-called Illuminati going to make John ask specific questions. I don't fucking know. But John, if they let you freestyle it, which I can't see the hidden pale male doing. It was my motherfucking opinion. I told you I click off and like shit. But if they do, please ask those two pertinent questions. Because this is deeper than basketball wives. It just is. This is mother-daughter relationship. Alexis K. Tyler got a video. I don't know if it's still on YouTube. Mother-daughter. I think that shit, that's what this is called. Mother-daughter. She got, I think, three-part video. I saw it years ago. This this is, yeah. This can help a lot of mother-daughter conflict across the uh, country. Or whomever watches this show. All right. This video is dedicated to Psych 101. The true psychology professors. Okay? And mothers and daughters, too. Healing. Yemen ya, Ashe. Peace.